Well, well that's after because the first thing the assistant has to do is sync up. Yeah. Yes. So your brushes come in and they're completely separate, aren't they? Um, and you have to marry um, the sound to the picture and you use the clapperboard, which I assumed you used at the start of this this particular thing because everyone still uses it because it's a good discipline to get everybody to pay attention and know that you're filming. But in our day, it was crucial. It was the only way of ensuring that the sound could marry to the picture. Otherwise, you had to do it all. You'd have to lip sync, which is just fiendish. And I used to sync up on one of these. I used to sync up on a pixie, not a double header. I nothing as posh as that. But you used to be able to sync up on a double, on a single, um, and you'd literally flip it in. You'd mark a cross, and maybe pull that out. You'd whisk down, and you'd find on the sound the clap, and it was the first mod of the clap. And then you'd mark the cross. You'd slot the two in, um, and then you'd carry on. And then, oh, see, I'm trying to remember now. You couldn't cut. That's what I remember. You could never cut on this side of the pit sink. You could only ever cut on that side of the pit sink. So if there was a gap, you'd have to cut the gap out. I can't you could vaguely remember it. Um, but if you cut on that side, and, and late at night, if you were doing stuff, you sometimes got a bit confused, then that would go out of sync. Your actual spools would go out of sync, which is like the worst thing you could do.